Can you believe that most people are only using 10% of ChatGPT's actual capabilities? I've been diving into ChatGPT's latest updates and I have seen some incredible features. And this is some features that most users won't even know exists. We're talking about video and image generators, voice conversations, and a bunch of other tools that you are gonna see in today's video. While everyone is using ChatGPT and just using it to basically ask questions and get some basic answers, these eight features will totally change how you see the platform and it will give you so much power to generate the best results and that is going to save you so much time every day. In this video I will show you exactly what are the 8 ChatGPT features that 99% of users are not using. So let's jump into the PC and discover number 1 which is voice conversations. So guys when you go over to ChatGPT we are used to seeing all of this. We're used to seeing the text box, we're used to seeing our chats and also we we kind of know the layout, but how often do you guys ever use this? When you go to the bottom of that, you'll see use voice mode. So when you are over here guys, you can actually chat to ChatGPT and you can give it prompts by using your voice. You can ask it anything and it will answer you like a personal assistant. And guys, let's say you aren't happy with the voice that you got. You can actually change it up just by clicking in the top right hand corner. So here guys, you can actually see Sol. So let's take a listen to Sol's voice. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. Okay, that's I'm cool. ready to go. <laughs> Next one. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? Hey, how's it going? I'm looking forward to working together. Let's figure out where to start. I like this one. So just gonna click on start a new chat. So now guys, since we have selected Bruce, we can ask Bruce absolutely anything and Bruce will actually answer us back. So I'm just gonna do this. Hey Bruce, so I have a Halloween themed party coming up this weekend. Please give me some ideas for what I can do to make the party stand out. Uh, for a Halloween themed party, you could start with some spooky decorations like cobwebs. So if you guys don't feel like typing, you guys can totally use this feature and you can actually chat to chat GBT. But right now guys, let's get on to the second feature that I'm sure you're not using. Now guys, the awesome thing about ChatGPT is that it actually logs all of your chats so that it can create a memory and that memory is what it uses to answer questions later on. But what if you wanted to ask something pretty basic and you don't necessarily want that to be logged as part of the memory? Well, then you can actually use temporary chat. So guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the top right hand corner where you see like, it's kind of like a word bubble with lines. You're gonna click on that and then this actually opens up temporary chat. So guys, as you can see there, it says not in the history, it has no training model, and the memory is now turned off. So when we click on continue, you can actually ask it absolutely anything and it's not going to be added to the memory. So this is basically where you will ask it general, any types of questions where you just want a quick answer and it's a one and done, kind of when you go on Google and you search some stuff. So I'm just gonna say, give me some ideas for my Halloween movie night this weekend. So now the cool part is, if I ever do search anything Halloween themed, it's not gonna relate back to this. So that is number two guys. Now it's time for us to get on to number three. So now I know that you've been using ChatGPT all this time, but did you know you could actually turn ChatGPT into your own personal assistant? You can actually give it more information about you so that it can actually help you going forward. And in order to do this, guys, you just have to go into the corner over here where you see your profile. You're gonna click on personalize and here you can customize ChatGPT. You can give yourself a nickname. You can also say what you do and also you can say how you want ChatGPT to chat back to you. So let's say I wanna give myself a nickname. I'm just gonna put in Ty over here and then what do you do? I can put in here that I am a YouTuber and then what traits should ChatGPT have? Well, I would like it to be chatty, witty, I would like it to be poetic whenever it's answering questions for me and also anything else that we should know. I like long walks on the beach. You can basically put anything that you want over here and there's also an advanced section to make sure that you can tick off certain things such as advanced voice, canvas and code and then you're just basically gonna push save and what this does is when it is answering questions, it's going to follow this guide and it's always going to remember you as a person instead of just you as part of the memory that you built up. But right now guys, it's time for us to get on to number four. So now guys, if you have seen our previous videos, then you would have seen this tool already. But if not, you are absolutely going to love this. So this is the image generator on ChatGPT. So you actually have two different options right over here, which is the image generator pro and the image generator. But I absolutely love this one right over here. So we're going to be using that. And the coolest thing is they make it so 
simple for you. You can type in any prompt that you want. So I'm just gonna type in, give me a city of the future. And then you're just gonna push on submit. And the cool thing about ChatGPT is it tries to give you the best image possible. So ChatGPT is actually gonna give you some questions so that it can specify and make the actual result even better. So I'm just gonna fill in a couple of stuff here. I'm gonna say that I want it to be realistic. I want it to be set in the year 2200. I want the mood to be bright and colorful and I want it to be a story. And then guys, I'm just gonna click on generate and it's gonna give this. As you can see guys, this is the result. It looks absolutely cool. And guys, the special thing about this is that ChatGPT has actually been working on this so much recently. So you would have seen this image generator here for quite a while, but they have been doing so much work and everything has been getting so, so, so much better. So nowadays when you actually do create people using the image generator, you're not gonna see wonky faces. You're not gonna see eyes that don't line up. You are gonna see incredible images like this every single time. And also guys, if you wanna make this even better, what you can do is you can go onto ChatGPT, you can ask it to actually give you a prompt. Then once it gives you a prompt of a specific idea, you can copy that, you can paste it into the image generator, and then you can get even a better result. But right now guys, it's time for us to get onto the next feature that I know you are not using, but after this video, you are going to. Now, if you didn't know that ChatGPT had an image generator, then I'm pretty sure you had no idea that they also had a video generator. So guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to this section here on the left, which is Sawyer. And then it's gonna take you over to this page right over here where it gives you a few of the examples of what you can basically create. You're gonna go to the bottom, you're gonna select a video. So here where it says resolution, you can either use the 480p or you can be like me and use 720p. Now I'm just gonna change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and then we're just gonna describe the video. So I'm gonna say, give me a video of a boy walking through a futuristic city in the year 2200. So guys, I'm just gonna click on generate and now the video is generated generating for us and now we can take a look at what it created and, and as you guys can see the example looks so cool here we can see a boy walking through a futuristic city and you can just see guys all the elements are definitely there and if you want to download it you just go to the top right hand corner and you can click on download but right now guys let's get on to the next feature so we've all had the problem when you have to go to ChatGPT and you have to search through all of your memory chats just so that you can find something that you kind of asked ChatGPT months or even years back so this is why we all need to use this feature and that is the project. So guys, if you are familiar with ChatGPT, you'll know how the layout looks, but how often have you ever clicked on this new project? When you click on that, guys, you can actually create a folder on ChatGPT and you can actually store all of your chats in that specific folder. So guys, I'm just going to put in image prompts. I'm going to say create project and then you'll see that it has now created it for us. So this is a better way of organizing all of your stuff so that you know exactly where to go to find it. So I can just drag anything and I can put it in to this. I can add some files if I want to and I can basically just make this the place that is perfect for all of my image prompts that I can then use for thumbnails. I can use it for projects. I can use it for presentations. I can use it for whatever. But the cool thing is I can organize everything just by using this feature. Now this next one guys is actually something that I only started using recently and it's been a total game changer. So we all know that ChatGPT is pretty amazing. When you ask it any kind of question, it'll basically give you an answer. But how often do we ever than deep research. This is one of the features that is so groundbreaking because you can actually ask it anything and if you feel like you need a bit more information, then you can actually just head over to this tool section and you can click on run deep research. Now you can ask it any question that you want to and it's actually going to give you an in-depth answer on that. And then the best part is you can just turn into a PDF if you want to and you can read it whenever you want to. But the nice thing is this is the best when it comes to research topics, when it comes to something that you wanna know a little bit more about, something that you don't just want simplified, you really basically wanna understand it beyond the 3,000 characters that ChatGPT allows, then this is the feature for you. So guys, I'm basically just gonna ask it to give me a breakdown of how to build the ultimate gaming PC. And now it's gonna give me a couple of questions just to give me the best result possible. So I'm just gonna fill in all of those super quickly. Then I'm just gonna press go and it's gonna start researching. And by the time it's done, it's gonna give me a nice PDF of about five to even 10 pages. I can read through that and I will understand exactly how to create the perfect gaming PC. But right now guys, we have to get to a very special feature on ChatGPT. And that feature guys, 
is basically just how we've actually been using ChatGPT in the first place. When we use ChatGPT, we basically come to the chat section, we ask it a question, it gives us an answer. But did you know that you can actually customize it a little bit better for yourself? So if you want to do that, go into the top left-hand corner where it says ChatGPT 4.0, and you can actually select through the models. And you can actually use this, which is 03, it's better for reasoning. Then it's faster at advanced reasoning. And then you actually have the mini high, you have the 4.5, 4.1, 4.1 mini. And guys, all of these are perfect. Yeah, you can see it's good for writing, it's good for coding. And the nice thing is, if, if you actually play an hour ChatGPT, you'll see other stuff like this, like we just touched on. If you go to the tools, you can actually write or code. You can search the web, you can create an image, or you can run deep research. And now if you go over to the left-hand section, you'll actually see GPTs. And if you click on that, you'll see a whole bunch of different things that you can actually add to your ChatGPT homepage. And it's stuff like video summarize. It's things that is in the productivity niche, research, education, lifestyle. It's even on Dali, it's on Pro programming, there's a lot of different ones that you can use. So here's a video generator, here is video AI. Here guys, if you go down to Dali, and then there's actually a logo designer, and if you click on it, then you can actually just add it by starting a chat. Once you start the chat and you type in the logo that you want, it's actually gonna add to the left-hand section for you. And then all your GPTs will actually be in that left-hand corner. And guys, that is just a few of the incredible features that ChatGPT has to offer, but these are ones that I am sure that you are not using guys so guys let me know in the comments below how many of these are you currently using and guys if you aren't then i think you should definitely start and don't forget guys to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this check out the video that is appearing on the screen right now and don't forget that i will catch you next time right here on zinho media